Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK on this lovely sunny day, but it's freezing outside and I just want to um, ask you to click the thumbs up, the thumbs down, subscribe or share. I interact with my um, subscribers, new subscribers, thank you for subscribing and existing subscribers, thank you for supporting. Um, today I wanted to let you know that the Home Office has released 300 detainees from the Immigration Centre. Hmm, I wonder why. Now, why would you release 300 immigrants from detention centres? These immigrants who you say were illegally in the country and you had them under detention for indefinite periods of time. And all of a sudden, you decide to release them out, out, well, out into the community under the claim that, oh, they might catch the virus if they live in the detention centre. Would you really care? No, something is going on here. You know me and my little suspicious mind, my little fictitious mind, me and my opinion. Yes, my mind goes does overtime. And it's always doing overtime, especially when I think about the vulnerable. I'm calling them vulnerable because of young black men are particularly particularly vulnerable at this time. They're as equally vulnerable as the elderly at this time. In this coronavirus period time, young black men are vulnerable. Why do I say that? Because they have released 300 immigrants, um, so-called illegal immigrants. They obviously weren't illegal. They obviously knew they weren't illegal before while they was in there. Now all of a sudden they're out on the street. Out on the street, they have all their details. Don't they? They have all their details. And so um, all they've got to do, they're going to be doing a roundup. I don't know uh, whether any of you at work have had to complete an audit of all your skills and all your illnesses and what kind of um, illnesses you've had in the past or what other kind of illnesses you've had now. Well, all of those will be going off into one big data bank and everyone is going to be contacted who's ticked one of those boxes and said you have, whether it's hypertension, whether it's um, diabetes, um, I don't know what the kind, I don't know what else is on the list, but lots of, you know, um, problems or issues that you might have. And they're going to contact all of those people and test them because um, they could have they could be exposed to the virus because they have underlying symptoms. Likewise, those 300 people who they've let out because they reckon that the detention centre is um, is a cauldron for the virus, they probably pick them up too. And they look. Remember, they're looking for 250,000 people to test their vaccine on, this antibody vaccine. Test if people got the virus. So put them out in the street and all you've got to do is take them all back again because you know why. In America, and remember, I always say England isn't far behind. In America, they have this system. I've got to tell you this. Um, where they can arrest people for no reason, because remember this pretest, this um, this new law, emergency law, means they can pick up anybody and test them. That almost that also and detain them, and that can could be construed as an arrest. And listen to this. Perfect targets for testing. Now, that's my bit. Hold on. Will they follow the, follow the US ruling for the ability de to detain arrested people indefinitely in addition to other powers? They have the right to detain people indefinitely. Trump Department of Justice has asked Congress to craft legislation allowing chief judges just sorry chief judges 
to indefinitely hold people without trial and suspend other constitutionally protected rights during the coronavirus outbreak and other emergencies, according to a report by Politico's Betsy Woodruff Squan. I'm getting all tongue tied here. Betsy Woodruff Swan. So this and this would apply for any pre-arrest, post-arrest, pre-trial, trial and post-trial procedures in criminal and juvenile proceedings and all civil processes and proceedings. Do you know what that means? Have you got any idea how horrific that is? It means that they can pick up anybody and detain them indefinitely for no reason under these emergency laws. Now, this is what they're proposing in America at the moment, as I speak to you now. They're trying to get that legislation through. And if they do, UK will be very, very fast on their heels, behind them on their heels. They justify this by saying currently judges can pause judicial proceedings in an emergency, but that new legislation would allow them to apply it in a consistent manner. And this is the source of this um, information is the Rolling Stone. But so in an emergency, the judicial proceedings, everything stops. You know, nothing is orderly anymore. The, the, the government can take the law into their own hands. And yes, they have to pass legislation, but I doubt very much if it needs much authority. I'm sure they can just do what they say they're going to do. So, oh God help young black men at this time. No reason. You can't say to the policeman, where well, you're stopping me for? I'm not doing anything. This is racial profiling. You can't say a thing. They have permission to arrest for no reason and detain indefinitely. The right for arrestees to be asked to be released before trial has been suspended indefinitely until the emergency is over. By the time the emergency is over, they will have done what they needed to do. So if you're arrested, even by mistake, with no criminal background, with no criminal record, just you're just unfortunate to be arrested, you can be detained indefinitely with no appeal. That's not good news. And that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.